In the midst of an economic crisis and rising component prices, it's no easy task to create an affordable yet well-rounded smartphone. This challenge is evident in the stagnant technical specifications of mid-range phones. In order to stand out and capture buyers' attention, manufacturers must seek other competitive advantages for their products. Realme, the Chinese company, has chosen to focus on exceptional design, but does the rest of the device live up to expectations? As mentioned earlier, it's hard not to be enamored by the thoughtful aesthetics of the Realme 11. The leather-inspired rear panel, adorned with a stunning circular array of camera modules, perfectly complements the device's various color options. The material is not only visually appealing but also offers a pleasant tactile experience, with minimal visibility of fingerprints and resistance to scratches. The front surface features an 85% glass coverage housing a 6.43-inch mold display. The screen bezels are barely noticeable, with a discreetly positioned selfie camera located in the corner. However, it's worth noting that the 8-megapixel front camera itself is not particularly remarkable. The AMOLED screen boasts a built-in fingerprint sensor and delivers a vibrant and immersive Full HD Plus resolution. Additionally, the device incorporates a 90Hz refresh rate for smoother content viewing. On the positive side, the Realme 11 utilizes the latest MediaTek Dimensity 6020 processor. However, it should be noted that this is essentially a rebranded version of the MediaTek 700 series. Paired with 8 or 12 GB of RAM and the Mali G57MC2 graphics adapter, the device ensures stable and speedy performance within the Android 13 interface. However, when it comes to gaming capabilities, the Realme 11 fails to impress. Recent resource-intensive games such as Honkai, Star Rail and Genshin Impact will require lower graphics settings to avoid significant lag. Nevertheless, Realme did not compromise on battery capacity. The device is equipped with a robust 5000 mAh battery, providing a day and a half of uninterrupted usage. Furthermore, the inclusion of 33-watt fast charging capability is a welcome addition. The internal storage capacity is not limited to 128 or 256 gigabytes, as it can be easily expanded using microSD cards. The camera capabilities of the Realme 11 present a mixed picture. While it lacks a wide-angle lens, the installed 64-megapixel and 2-megapixel sensors do not significantly advance detail capture and natural color reproduction compared to cameras found in other devices within the same product line. Daytime photos deserve commendation for their clarity and detail, but low-light conditions often result in noticeable blurring. The absence of stereo sound means that high-quality and loud audio cannot be expected from the single speaker. However, Realme has not forgotten about user convenience, as the device features the proprietary Realme UI shell, NFC support for contactless payments, and compatibility with 5G networks, an increasingly common feature in Europe and the CIS region. Ultimately, the Realme 11 is aimed at users who prioritize visually appealing Android devices and are willing to overlook certain imperfections in other areas.